Okay, so um, this is a bit of news about how I want to um, release field recordings, uh, at least some field recordings in the future, but also I, I just want you to hear this um, audio file, at, at least these microphones uh, that I recently got. So I've been, I've been putting up um, raw field recordings, like mono and stereo exports of them on Bandcamp and the Hidden Sound website, but I recently got some brilliant new contact mics by Steel and Clang and uh, I can't leave information in any links at the moment below because in essence there is none but I, I can give you some information if you want to send me a private message about them but um, anyway I tried out a five mic configuration on a metal gate which was moving in the wind so I got a, a LOM or LOM however you pronounce it geophone in the middle on the latch of the gate and then the steel and clang mics spread out along the width of the gate. So there's four of them. There's two small spots and two block mics. So I'm going to play back um, the un unprocessed recordings uh, really quickly. And I'll just solo different tracks. And as you can see, they're panned differently. Um, so this was, this was so lovely um, to hear this because to the naked ear, the, the gate wasn't producing any sound. Um, but once I put the headphones on and press, press record, this whole world of sound is opened up with the contact mics on them. I, I was so happy to hear this. So anyway, here you go. So that's all totally unprocessed and I'm going to play them again. I've done some very quick EQ settings um, to them super, super quick just to clean things up a little bit. So here they are again. So after, you know, listening to these different combinations to the tracks, like which tracks you can have together and panned differently in different volumes, I just decided I'm going to release field recordings as stems so that people can have a lot more control over panning, volume, EQ, compression, whatever, to individual tracks. Cheers.